What up y'all, Ekin here once again, and I gotta show you this badass new program called Flow. And Flow lets you visually manage your creative projects. So today I'm gonna show you how to organize your project assets using Flow to create a better bookmark map. So let me show you what's up and let's check this out. So one of the best features Flow has to offer is that it allows you to visually see the structure of your projects. So if you use various programs to create your project, Flow can actually see the connections between all those files. Alright, so let's take a look at this HTML file. So when you open it in Flow, right off the bat, it goes out and finds all the files that are associated with it. So in this case, it's the subpages, the images, flash files, they're all right there. Alright, now I know this kind of looks like a cluster right now, but we can actually organize it down so it's a little bit more better and clean. So let's say we want to organize these scattered images. So we can actually group them by right clicking on them and just selecting group. And if you keep doing that, you'll notice that it groups all the images per file format, which is pretty nice. What's even better is you can actually make custom groups. So if I want to make all these things right here, I can make them into the downloads group. And a quick way to see all the contents inside a group is just to right click on it and select show group contents. Okay, so now let's look at another example. Here's a new website I'm working on, it's a Photoshop document. And you can actually see all the layers and bins inside of the document, which is really cool. And here's an After Effects project, same thing. You can see the structure of the composition right here. All right, and there you have it. That was a quick demo of Flow. Now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff we didn't cover, like versioning, tracking, bookmarking, and tagging, but we'll save that for another episode. So definitely download it and check it out. Then go to our website and let us know what you think, because we definitely want to know what you guys think. So until next time, I'm Ekin, and I'll see you guys later.